I made a rocking horse from uh, plans that I bought off the internet and uh, this is the finished horse. The plans I bought were uh, are sold by a site called uh, toymakingplans.com and I was pretty happy with what they provided me. The plans cost, uh, I think they were $12.95, $12.95. So, I thought I'd uh, describe some of what I did to make the horse. In some cases, I deviated from their plans a little bit, and I'll show uh, I'll show where that happened. Here's the horse rocking a little bit. Okay. Uh, one thing I did was uh, they used uh, dowels. In the plan, they recommend using dowels to attach the legs to the body, and I used biscuits, and I used screws. I used um, three-inch screws. You can see the right here. There's places where I've covered the screw heads with little cover dowels. So it's biscuited on there, and then it's screwed on there. Um, I, I, I'm not saying I think that this is a better way. I don't know if it is or not, but. I think it's strong enough. Um, also, where this uh, cross piece here attaches to the rocker, they use dowels. What I did was I used biscuits and I used three and a half inch screws. Th these are the holes where the screws went in. Um, I didn't fill the holes because I figured maybe I'll need to tighten them at some point. I don't know. It's, we'll see how it holds up. I figure um, if uh, the screws and biscuit aren't sufficient, then maybe I'll drill them out and put dowels in like they suggested in the first place. Um, then the uh, where the legs attach to this cross piece right here, again, the plans called for the use of dowels, and I used three and a half inch screws from below. Um, I did that because I thought maybe, who knows, maybe I'll want to detach the horse from the rocker and uh, this lets me do that. And again, if it doesn't hold up, I'll try dowels like they said to do in the first place. Um, one thing I did a little differently than they did was um, the eye. Okay, yeah, I, I guess I should point out that this is uh, made, it's, it's made like a sandwich, basically. There's three, there's three pieces of wood. There's a thin three-quarter inch piece here. I used a one and a half inch piece here. And then there's a three-quarter inch piece here. Now the plan called for using four three-quarter inch pieces. But I didn't see any reason not to use a thick one in the middle. So that's what I did. Um, I used a uh, 2x10 construction grade wood for the centerpiece, and then I used, let's see, I guess it was 1x10s to make the outer two pieces. So this eye here is what I was talking about. Um, in the plan, they bored a hole through the outer piece and um, left it that way. Well, I wanted to screw the outer piece to the to the two by ten, so I did that in I guess four places. I have a screw that's behind this leg, a screw that's behind the back leg, a screw that's behind the saddle, and I have a screw in the eye. And the way I did that was I didn't bore all the way through the outer piece; I bored halfway through. I put a screw in there. Of course it's glued too, which is what is suggested, but I don't know, I wanted screws. So um, the eye, I filled that hole then to cover the screw head with a piece of dowel that I painted red. Um, let's see, what else? I made the rocker a little taller than than the plan called for. I'm not sure why, I just thought it looked kind of slender. Um, I made sure not to change the bottom profile because I figured maybe 
maybe it'll rock well if I use the profile that was in the plan. So where I added the extra, uh, maybe 3 eighths of an inch was at the top here. Um, another thing I did a little differently was right, right here and right here, I, I wanted to round those off a little bit to make it look sort of like a muscle, I guess, like the muscle of the horse. So I used a rasp and uh, it, it doesn't have quite as sharp a corner as the plan called for. Um, the rasp I used is, you know, I've got it here, it's just a hand rasp. And that worked pretty well. Um, I was able to shape the wood pretty much the way I wanted to. Um, the, the, the company that sells the plans is called ToyMakingPlans.com and um, they have a lot of toys that you can make from wood. I, this is the only one I've made, but um, it all looked good. I know this plan was really easy to use. Now, I'm not saying all the woodworking is necessarily easy. It kind of depends on what tools you have. Um, I used a bandsaw to cut the stuff. Um, you could probably do it with a hand, uh, like a jigsaw or a saber saw. In that case, you might not want to use a... a uh, 2x10 for the center piece, you might want to use two one bys because then you could cut them individually. But anyway, I, I'm not really making any recommendations there because the only way I did it is the way I did it, was, which is with a bandsaw. Um, I used a drill press for some things. Obviously, I used a biscuit a joint planer. Uh, what's it called? A, a, pl a plate joiner to put in the biscuits. Um, Uh, let's see, another thing I did a little differently, they call for a one and an eighth inch um, dowel for the handle, and I, I had some one and a quarter, so I used that. I think that's pretty nice. Um, they bored completely through the head to put the dowel in. I didn't do that. I used things called dowel pins, and so there's not a hole that goes completely through the head for the handle. Um, I don't know if this will hold up or not. The dowel pins I used were 5 sixteenths. And if, they, if the dowels snap off, then, then I guess I will bore through it and put another, put another dowel in. Um, I guess that's probably... Oh, well, there is one more thing. I made a little drawing. Um, I didn't have wood that was tall enough to uh, to make the central piece out of 2x10 or the side pieces out of 1x10. So what I did was, let me get this drawing here. I, um, I, joined, I joined wood together. And you can see that I, I took two rectangular boards and I joined them together with uh, biscuits and I glued it obviously. And so I formed uh, a rough shape that then I was able to cut the horse out of. And I did that for the center piece, which is two by, and I did it for the two side pieces, which are one by. That worked out pretty well. I, I was pretty happy with the way that came out. Um, I did change the shape of the seat a little bit. I don't know, I thought it would be nice to have a little indents there for the thighs of the the rider. And then I attached the seat and I attached the saddles with uh, just with the, uh, um, you know, I can't remember the name of the thing, but anyway, <laughs> something that shoots nails. A pin, uh, I just can't remember. I use it, but I don't know its name. So that's it. That's the rocker I made. Um, ToyMakingPlans.com. They, they really make a nice, a nice plan.